The accelerator pedal position sensor, or APP sensor, plays a crucial role to ensure the smooth operation of your vehicle. If you're experiencing odd acceleration issues, this sensor could be the culprit. In today's video, we are going to discuss the bad accelerator pedal position, sensor symptoms, causes, and even some DIY fixes to get you back on the road smoothly. The primary function of the accelerator pedal position sensor is to monitor the position of the accelerator pedal and communicate this information to the engine control unit. Based on this information, the ECU adjusts the position of the throttle valve in the engine. The accelerator pedal position sensor is typically located on the accelerator pedal assembly, usually to the right of the brake pedal. A bad accelerator pedal position sensor can cause a range of problems in your vehicle's performance. Let's discuss the common symptoms of a bad accelerator pedal position sensor. 1. Delayed acceleration. One of the most common signs of a bad APP sensor is a delayed response when you press the accelerator. A bad accelerator pedal sensor causes the throttle to open slowly or inconsistently. This results in delayed or poor acceleration because the ECU is unable to adjust the throttle plate properly to match the driver's pedal input. You may notice that the vehicle doesn't speed up immediately or seem sluggish. 2. Unstable or irregular idle. A malfunctioning accelerator pedal position sensor may send erratic signals to the ECU, causing the throttle plate to open and close unpredictably. This can lead to fluctuations in engine idle speed as the ECU struggles to maintain a stable air-fuel ratio. 3. Check engine light. When the APP sensor fails, the vehicle's onboard diagnostic system will detect the issue and trigger the check engine light. If you scan for trouble codes, you may find codes related to the throttle or pedal sensor, such as P0120, P0121, P0122, P0123, P0220, or P2135. 4. Unintended acceleration. In some cases, a malfunctioning APP sensor can lead to unintended acceleration. The car may speed up unexpectedly, even if you haven't pressed the gas pedal harder than usual. This is because a bad sensor may send wrong signal to ECU, which can open the throttle more than needed. 5. Inability to accelerate. In more severe cases, a bad APP sensor may prevent the car from accelerating altogether. When the accelerator pedal position sensor fails completely or sends very weak signals, the ECU may not detect any throttle input. As a result, the vehicle won't respond to the driver's pressing of the accelerator pedal. 6. Limp Mode Some vehicles will go into limp mode when they detect a problem with the APP sensor. In limp mode, the engine power is reduced and the car will only be able to drive at low speeds to prevent further damage. 7. Engine Hesitation Hesitation during acceleration occurs when the APP sensor sends fluctuating or weak signals to the ECU. The ECU might interpret the input as if the pedal is being pressed inconsistently, resulting in a delayed or incomplete opening of the throttle. This causes the engine to hesitate or lag when trying to accelerate. 8. Poor fuel economy. A malfunctioning accelerator pedal sensor can result in inaccurate throttle control, causing the ECU to inject either too much or too little fuel into the combustion chamber. Inaccurate throttle positions lead to inefficient engine operation, which can increase fuel consumption. Let's discuss the causes of a bad accelerator pedal position sensor. 1. Wear and tear. Over time, the sensor can degrade due to constant use. 2. Dirt and debris. Dust or grime can interfere with the sensor's readings. 3. Electrical issues. Faulty wiring or connections can lead to sensor malfunctions. 4. Faulty calibration. Sometimes the sensor just needs recalibration. Many of these issues can be tackled with some DIY fixes. Let's discuss the DIY fixes. 1. First of all, check and clean the sensor. 2. Look for any loose or damaged wires and connectors. 3. If cleaning and inspection don't fix the issue, it might be time to replace the sensor. That's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more car tips and tricks.